What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I wanted to make a video talking about some of the top features that I would love to see implemented for launch into Modern Warfare. For all of these features I'm going to be talking about, they aren't directly related to gameplay, it's more so things outside of gameplay. And to be completely honest, I don't expect all of these features by any means at launch. Of course, it would be great to have all of them, but some of them just aren't really realistic, but I still wanted to include those on this list. So let's just hop right into it. And first up on my list here is a proper, really detailed combat record that's actually in the game itself. This is something that I feel we've been kind of lacking for the past several years with Call of Duty. Like, yes, we've kind of had a combat record there that shows our basic stats like kill-death ratio, win-loss ratio. But I want to see a combat record where you can go into each individual gun and have a look at your stats with each gun in the game. For me at least, the gold standard in Call of Duty for combat records was Black Ops 1. I feel like they nailed the combat record and I would love to see that return. And like I said, I'm talking about in the actual game. So like with Black Ops 4 for instance last year, we had a very basic combat record built into the game, but then we had the COD Companion app, so if you wanted to go on your phone you could check out your much more detailed combat record stats. But I don't want to have to go elsewhere to get my stats. Why can't they just be displayed in the game? So I'm really hoping that's something we will see this time around. But looking at Infinity Ward's track record, this generally isn't one of their strong suits. Going off of that, I would also love to see some proper global leaderboards so you can actually track how well you're doing globally versus everybody else in public matches. And this is once again something that used to be a staple in older Call of Duty games, but it really seems to have fallen off in a lot of recent Call of Duty games. Now I think one of the reasons they've been going easy on these global leaderboards is they don't want people finding out the player counts in game and they want all of that stuff to be hidden and if you're showing exactly how many people are on the leaderboards then people can start to get an indication of how many people are playing the game. So even if they just want to sort by the top 500,000 players or something I'd be fine with that because anybody that actually cares about the leaderboards and, and checking where they are globally they're generally going to be in the top 500,000 at least. So that is something that I think would be a great feature. I'm not personally somebody that plays for those leaderboards, but I do know for a lot of people that's a big part of the game for them long term. Next up on this same topic of stats and stat tracking, I would love to see a lobby leaderboard return. Now this is something that we've only ever seen in Treyarch games if I remember correctly, so I'm not going to hold my breath on this one, but I really like when you go into a lobby, you can check the lobby leaderboards, which will sort by game mode specific score per minute. And I really feel that game mode specific score per minute is the best indicator of how much of a fight a player is going to put up within the game. It's not necessarily how skilled the player is, but it's generally how much are they going to be pushing, how aggressive are they going to be. And this can allow you to prepare for that type of a player. Now the argument against this is often, well if you have lobby leaderboards then people will just lobby shop and as soon as they see a lobby leaderboard with what looks like a difficult lobby they will end up leaving. And while that is true there will always be those lobby shoppers, honestly I'd prefer if they were lobby shopping and getting out of the lobby before the game starts rather than waiting till the game loads in, they find out the players are really good and then they leave the game and they leave their team hanging. That's just my personal opinion though, it's something that I always really enjoyed in Treyarch games scoping out that lobby before you actually get into the game. Moving on to the next feature that I would love to see implemented at launch, this is a contract system. So daily and weekly contracts, so you've always got a new challenge to work towards every single day and every single week. Now we have seen contracts for the past several years now with Call of Duty, however with Black Ops 4 for instance those contracts didn't come until many many months down the road and I feel like the game had already gotten stale by the time it hit that point. When you have those daily and weekly contracts from the beginning, I find it really helps with longevity. A lot of people will log in just to complete those daily and weekly challenges when they otherwise may not have the motivation to do that. And I really want to see a healthy player base throughout the life cycle of this game. Next up is a pretty big feature that I honestly don't expect to see because Infinity Ward generally doesn't have this feature. And this is theater mode. Theater mode is great for content creators to get thumbnail images or to make those like really intricate sort of videos where you have lots of third person views and you can track combat axes in the air for instance. But even outside of that I feel like theater mode really helps with people sharing their clips online and I'm talking non-content creators sharing their clips on reddit or twitter and really forming a community where a bunch of clips are constantly being shared. Without theater mode you don't see as many of those clips shared or at least they're not going to be as good. It's not really a deal breaker for me, but it would be nice to see a theater mode in the game. 
Moving on to the next feature that I can't believe I have to actually ask for this feature to even be in the game because it should be a no-brainer. There should absolutely be connection indicators in the game for everybody, not just PC players, but everybody. This is something we didn't have in the beta on console. There was no way of checking your ping in game. And even for PC players who did have the option to check their ping, it was completely inaccurate and those numbers meant absolutely nothing. So I'm really hoping at launch, we see a proper method to see what your ping is when you're actually in the game, not just when you're searching for the game and it shows like the search criteria but your actual in-game ping, that's a feature that we just need to see in the game. And on top of that, I would also like them to go a step further with this and give us icons that pop up on screen if something is happening with a connection. If there's packet loss, for instance, there should be a unique icon that pops up. Or if there's high latency at that moment, there should be an icon that pops up for that. This is something that we generally don't see in Call of Duty. We saw it in the COD World War II beta, and I don't think we've seen it outside of that. Maybe Infinite Warfare at some point had it as well. But it just seems like a no-brainer to have these icons appear in-game. And yet, at least with the beta, we had no way of tracking our connection in-game at all. Additionally, something that might be a little bit of a long shot relating to connections is it would be great if we could actually choose our preferred data center when we get into the game. This is something that almost every other AAA first-person shooter on the market has, and yet we don't have this option with Call of Duty. So like I said, probably a long shot. I doubt we'll see this, but it would be great to have that option to choose your preferred data center. Getting into some features I'd love to see in the settings of the game. First off, I would love to see a dead zone adjustment setting. This is something where I think it was a lot of Battlefield players, they were having issues with the dead zones. Normally Call of Duty players, we don't have a dead zone adjustment and therefore we just kind of take what we can get. But after playing other games that do have this dead zone adjustment, it does make a big difference for console players. And it would be really nice to have a little bit of control over those dead zones because as it is right now, there's no control over that whatsoever. Additionally, one little feature that we've only ever seen in one Call of Duty game before, this was Advanced Warfare, that I would love to at least have the option to turn on. This is a headshot hit marker. If you guys remember back to Advanced Warfare, anytime you would hit a headshot, you would get a hit marker that had double lines instead of just the single cross. And I really like that sort of feedback. As you're shooting towards your target, you can see that you dealt extra damage because you shot them in the head, or you can see if maybe you didn't hit the head where you thought you would have. I really don't know why no other COD developer has ever brought this back since Advanced Warfare because I'm pretty sure, from what I remember at least, people generally like that feature and it just disappeared and hasn't come back yet. Another thing on the topic of settings is I really hope this time around we get the option to save our custom game settings. This is something, especially for me as a YouTuber that generally goes in to break down stats on everything, I have certain custom game setups and this is something that's really frustrated me with Black Ops 4. Anytime I hop into a custom game in Black Ops 4, if I want to test something, I have to go through and change all the settings the way I like them for me to do my testing properly. This is definitely something that I find to be quite annoying when in many of the other Call of Duty games, we have had this option to save our custom game settings. So I really hope that returns this time around, and I do think it will with Modern Warfare. On the topic of testing things, I would love to see the return of a firing range. Even if it's just a very simple firing range, it doesn't have to be as detailed as the COD World War II one. Just a basic sort of area that you can go in, test guns, test attachments out, without having to actually load into a game. Now somebody from Infinity Ward, I can't remember when or where this was, so I don't have the original source, but I remember them mentioning that firing range isn't really necessary anymore because you can just go in and you can change your loadouts mid-game, so if you just boot up a custom match, then it's basically like you have your own firing range right there, and you can change things out on the fly. So I definitely get where they're coming from there, but having said that, I think it would still be great to have a simple firing range just so you could test out the effects of some of the attachments without having to actually load up a custom game. Also, another feature that Infinity War did comment on that we won't be expecting to see at launch, but I would still love to see in the future if they can get to it, this would be a Weapon Inspect feature. The Weapon Inspect is something that people have really enjoyed from COD World War II and Black Ops 4, and at least the last that we heard from Infinity Ward, it's not really planned for Modern Warfare, but it is something that I think would be great to see down the road if they can find the time to put some work in and get those done. Moving on to the next feature that I would love to see that we've only ever seen in Black Ops 3, this is a groups feature. That was something I loved about Black Ops 3 where I could create a group for all of my viewers and followers and then they could join that group 
And then if I was ever looking to play with people, I could just open it up and anybody from that group could join my game or I could send invites out through that group. This was far more efficient than people sending me a message on PSN and then I have to go into my PSN menus that take forever to load to send that invite to them. It was just not a great process. And I would love a much more streamlined way to play with my viewers. And additionally, on top of that, for people that aren't content creators, you could join groups for people that have similar interests to you. Like maybe you like the same sports team or something. And you could join with people that you would have similar interests to. And you could maybe even make some friends, I guess, while playing the game. Which was a really cool feature that hasn't returned since then. And I think there's a lot of opportunity for that. Especially now that we have our Activision accounts linked to this with crossplay. I think it would be really cool if we could have that group feature. We're getting pretty close to the end of the list here. I've just got a couple more features that I'd love to see. And the first one here is player counts by game mode, or at the very least, the percentage of the player base in each one of the game modes. Once again, I totally get it. They don't want to show their total player count at any given time. There's no real upside for them to do that. So I think the days where we can see actual player counts by game mode, those days are gone but they could do what Black Ops 3 did, and that is give us player percentages in each mode. That way you could see that some of the modes only have like 1% of the people playing the mode, and therefore you're not as likely to find a game quickly, and you're not as likely to find games with really good connections, since people are more likely to be spread out over a longer distance playing that game mode. I'm really not a big fan of going into the mode blind and searching for a game, and then it takes forever to find a game, or when you do get a game, it's a really terrible connection, and you don't really understand why that is, it's great if you have that player percentage displayed for you so you know exactly what you're getting into. And with that, this leaves us with one final feature that I really hope we will see this time around with Modern Warfare, and this is some form of Dark Ops style challenges. Now, for those of you guys that aren't aware, Dark Ops challenges are something that we've had in Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare, and also Black Ops 4. Maybe some other ones had it as well, I can't quite remember. But at least those games had these Dark Ops challenges. And these are challenges that are sort of hidden so you don't actually see what you have to do until you complete the challenge. Or until you search on YouTube or Google or something to try and find them. And they're generally one-off sort of challenges. It's kind of like the stars have to align for this certain thing to happen for you to get this challenge completed. And for some of them, you won't complete them throughout the entire life cycle. Other ones, you'll just happen to get lucky and complete them. And I find it really enjoyable to try and collect these Dark Ops challenges over the entire course of the life cycle of the game. And I think they add quite a bit of longevity to the life cycle of a game, even though they're relatively simple, basic challenges that they can add into the game. So I really hope they return with Modern Warfare. But with that, that's going to wrap it up for my list of the top features that I would love to see in Modern Warfare at launch. Like I said, I definitely don't expect to see all of these things implemented, but even if we could get a handful of the features that I mentioned on this list, I think that would be awesome. And of course, I'd like to know in the comment section below, what other features outside of gameplay would you like to see added with Modern Warfare? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.